Welcome to the Something Good Podcast, hosted by Renee Mueller, powered by Verly. This is where we interview top business professionals, industry insiders, operational managers, and thought leaders from around the nation. Diving into hot current topics to help you experience something good. All right. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. We have Shay and Adam Spitz with us. And I understand Adam does not like surprises, so <laughs> we won't sing happy birthday to him or ask him hard questions. Uh, but I do want to start off by just introducing Shay because Shay is probably our longest standing agent, at least as far as I can remember. So is it going on three years? Uh, yeah, it'll be three years here in July. That is hard to believe. So yes. I remember when uh, Darlene and I ran into you in Omaha and for some reason she noticed this 10 county car, I think it was at yep. the time and well, it still is. And uh, she was like, oh my gosh, I wonder who that is. I wonder if they're, I wonder if they know that we're here. And I was like, oh my gosh, Darlene, you are not that big of a deal. But you know, she, she is a big she deal. Is, yeah. She is a big deal. Yeah. So, and you passed your test the first time you took it. I think yep. you were just taking your last class or was that? That like, was just like a recap on how to, you know, how to study for your exam. Um, so that was really the only thing I did to study for the exam. And then I took my test the next week or two. So passed the first time. Yep. Passed the first time. Cool. And so since then, what's your journey been like, or what's your career been like? I mean, you've been top agent pretty much since the beginning. So that's yeah. pretty awesome. And I mean, you're a valued team member. You're, you're always uh, helping, encouraging everyone else. And, and uh, you've got, I think, two or three training agents under you. Yep. Yep. Um, so anyway, just give us an idea of what, what your thoughts are in the last three years. Yeah. Well, it's been uh, an amazing transition because I used to be a case manager for mentally ill adults. So it was a huge career change. And I went, I, I told myself once I passed that I was going to do it full time. I wasn't going to go part time. I wanted to give it my all. Um, and it turned out to be an amazing change. I know we had to adjust to a lot, even at home, you know, Adam was used to me picking up the kids, dropping the kids off every single day. And so we went from doing now that you to take them to school uh, a little bit <laughs> here and there, or we take them to school when they don't have school. So, Hey, I always joke that my kids are not going to get in trouble for not going to school. They're going to get in trouble for being there too long. Exactly. Cause I always tend to forget case and at school, but anyway, mm -hmm. so that was a big transition for us when we, when I first started and Adam had to kind of adapt to it probably more than I did, especially going Going, you know, working in the evenings and on the weekends, uh, that was a little bit difficult. You know, we had two kids at the time and then our third one came along not, not long after, but we got into real estate about four years ago, a little over four years ago. And, um, by renovating homes, did that, fell in love with it, loved meeting different people, getting out there, looking at homes and transitioning them. I, I can see the vision. I know I want to get Adams, the analytical person, and he knows the little steps that it needs to get there. And I'm like, well, I don't care what it takes to get there. I just want to go from this to this. So you guys figure that out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a really good team um, in that aspect. But, and then I got into real estate, did that full time. And I think what's helped me the most is being able to give back and help other agents within the office, because it's not everything that I've done in real estate, I have not recreated. I've listen to podcasts, watch YouTube videos, read books. I mean, I'm implementing things that other agents and other successful agents have. So the right. way I look at it is there's I'm not no trying reinventing the wheel. No, there's I mean, no, there's just not people need to understand. Yeah. That, so yeah. yeah, you might do things a little bit differently than the next person, but I'm not reinventing anything. So if I can help people be successful, it, it just comes back tenfold. And that's what I've enjoyed doing. So I started the onboarding not too long ago. And I love having agents come to me asking me questions and even even the agents that I'm not onboarding will come to me and ask me a ton of questions. But I like that because it gives me a chance to learn more than you're learning it again. Oh so yeah. You're teaching it. You're, yeah. you're learning it twice. Yeah. I may have done it, but just because I've done it once doesn't mean I'm going to remember how I did right. it. So I love being able to go through the entire process with the other agents. That's right. So, so you have a company or you had a company called mm -hmm. providing property solutions, yep. correct? Yep. And I remember seeing your sign out about three, four years ago, mm -hmm. right before you were licensed. Um, and so it must've looked easy to you then at the time. <laughs> it never looked easy. What was your first couple of experiences? I would say our first experience was a property in Humphrey that we realized we tried to do it all ourselves for the mm -hmm. most part, not all of it, but we tried to do a lot of it ourselves. And that By was we, our, you mean Adam, Adam and I, yeah. So like the demo and, oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. We even we even tried to, we even put it in the handrail ourselves and I'll never oh. do that again with, right. with, with Adam. Yeah, <laughs> it was rough. There. Been there, done that. Oh. Yeah. So you started much of the same way I did in investing, uh, buying rentals and, and buying maybe 
flip properties. So, I, I mean, I admire you for doing that and you started young as well. Yeah. So again, going back to, I think, did you try to start selling these on your own? If I remember right? Yes. So you yep. didn't hire an agent. Yep. Okay. So a couple different times I did hire an agent to basically do all the paperwork side of it. So two or three different times. You were able to find one that would do that? Yeah, I was at the time. I, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do just paperwork because there's a lot of... <laughs> There's a lot of legalities and legal issues are, you know, things that come into play. So I'm not really going to necessarily do that, but I did have some agents that did do just like the paperwork side of it. And I, that's what we did. So there was a few times where I got to the point where I would have wished I would have just hired an agent because it was just too much. Cause I was working in Norfolk. Adam was working full-time here in Columbus and uh, to try and show properties and schedule a time that worked for the buyer and us, and then trying to follow up with the buyer. It was a nightmare. So yeah. Um, Always good to hear those stories. It really is a full-time job. There's a reason why those that are successful are doing it full-time. Oh, for sure. Even though we have all the systems in place, all the people in place, like transaction coordinator, uh, which Eve helps with, you know, it still is a full-time job. Uh huh. So, and you're top agent. So Mm -hmm. knowing that, I mean, your numbers are are amazing and yeah, you're definitely here all day, every day, pounding those streets and getting the deals done. And so- well, and just the knowledge that you need to have when it comes to the different loan types. I mean, you can get creative. You you start learning who the buyers are and what they can do and cannot do as far as loans. Just because the lender says that this is what they're qualified for does not mean that that's what they have to do. You know, yeah. you have to be able to ask the lender questions and kind of get creative when it comes to making right. an offer because it's not just the price, right. it's the terms yep. too. And this business changes so fast, especially the last, I would say two or three years. Mm-hmm. And through COVID, all of those loan restrictions and requirements changed quite a bit. I felt like it was two full-time jobs, just trying to keep up with that. So yeah, yeah, very true. So fast forward almost three years, you Mm -hmm. recruited your husband into the business. Yep. Although he works for the wrong company. (laughs) (laughs) So what's your hat say, Adam? Midwest Land Group. All right. Awesome. Tell us about Midwest Land Group. So I actually just started there a couple months ago. So kind of just getting my feet wet with them. They're uh, they're actually based down in Kansas City, but since then they've grown to nine different states throughout the Midwest and have uh, agents all scattered throughout the Midwest. And at what time was that, that they've grown that that much? Um, I think they're about just shy eight years old now. So they're growing pretty rapidly. And uh, yeah, it's great, great brokerage to work for. I've talked to, I think, is there one or two owners? Uh, Two, two, yeah, two brokers. Okay. I've spoken to one a few times and I know he was at one of the events that uh, our Omaha office had a couple Um, years ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, It probably could have been Brian more than likely. Well, tell tell him what you, what Brian had mentioned when you were at one of the trainings. Oh, just how, I because he's, I think he's buddies with Jeff. He is, yep. uh, I think they're kind of always competing up against each other. So they are talking about recruiting and and how they do that. And uh, also how they have the leads come in. And so, yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Small world and how. Uh, work for two different. It, it really is. Yeah, they're, it they're is. Com- they're friends with each other. So. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, and I think a big, the biggest thing is like both Midwest Land Group and KW Elite, um, prior to Adam even getting into them, we realized how much the mindsets are very similar. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very Most much definitely. Alike. And the criteria to be part of Midwest Land Group is extensive, just like it would be to be, you can't just accept any agent um, that wants to be an agent. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. You want somebody who's full-time, who's dedicated, determined. And so I remember when Adam was going through his training, he sent me a video and it, the Brian was talking and he said something about, um, there's only there's one other company that is very similar to us and growing at the speed that we are. And that would be Jeff Cohn's team in <gasps> Omaha, Nebraska. All right, let's edit this out. Do not tell Jeff that. <laughs> Yeah. So I just, we I mean, need to get that sound bite and just put it in. So yeah. I think that's yeah. awesome. No, yeah. but I think it's, I mean, it's just really cool. Just knowing that like Adam got into this, this company, not really knowing that there was a connection at all. Right. And then as he's gone through it, Jeff's name has been brought up a couple different yep. times, yep. I think. So um, it's yeah. just really interesting. Yeah, I agree. When you text me, it was so funny because when you and I were going back and forth about what Adam was going to do once he got licensed, he said, oh, he's going to work for this, this land company. He wants to, you know, really look at recreational ground and, and uh, stuff along the Midwest. And I said, oh, there's this group called MLG. Yep. And I looked back at that text again, even recently. And I thought, isn't that weird? And mm-hmm. you're like, no, I think that's the one, you know, yeah. I just thought, yeah, that's awesome. So at that point then I was giving, I think it was Brian. I'll have to look back at my messages, but I think I was giving him a hard time. Like, okay, now, now you're getting into the wrong company. So <laughs> you're recruiting our agents away, but no, I think that's amazing. So, yeah. and I am sure it goes hand in hand. So yes, have you guys absolutely. had some ideas that you bounced off of one another for yep. the yep. training and for the mm-hmm. uh, lead gen and things like that. Yep, so absolutely. yeah, wonderful. So yeah. And I'm going back to that piece, Shay, that is something that, as you know, I do pride myself on. We've had agents or would-be agents come in and out of uh, interviews. And I think it is so detrimental to have someone come on who 
you know, for whatever reason, just isn't going to make it. You're, you're taking time and money and resources away from the other agents and away from your company by allowing someone like that to come on. And it's not uh, necessarily negative uh, back on that person. It's just that if you know that they're not going to be the right fit or they're not right. going to make it a full-time commitment or, you know, go through all of the training and, you know, sometimes they weed themselves out as well. But I just think that that's so important in making your company a true success and the other agents yeah. too, because you're of course, just going up to whoever else is in your company. You know, you're, you're sort of working up to their level, you know, yeah. so you don't want someone to come in and have the agents in your company basically having to stoop down to a certain level. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think that's awesome. So tell us, uh, Adam, any big challenges in getting your license or in just starting out? Actually, no, licensing went well. Got through my classes in just a couple months, did all online classes. Was fortunate enough to pass the first time wow. knock on wood on that that's one, incredible. which is cool because I had to drive actually all the way out to North Platte. So oh, did it, you? Oh, uh, you actually, you took your test the same time as Lamont, right? Yeah, the, yeah. Day, the day before the Lamont day before. did. Oh, the day before. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. So. Well, and they talked about even writing out there together to take the test, but then Adam was going to plan on staying out there if he failed and was going to take it the next day, which it wasn't going to work out that That's way anyway, awesome. but they did talk about driving together. So the day before I felt so bad for Lamont because as you know, when he drove out that morning, he got like stuck in the snowstorm. It yep. was awful. I, I actually told him to turn around. He's like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I've been studying. I've been ready. And he went through a nightmare process. So I don't know if yours was the same, but man, he took forever to get fingerprints back and get his Yeah, that approval. part. Yeah, that part did yeah. take a long time because I actually was supposed to start a month earlier, but just everything drug out mm -hmm. with getting the fingerprints and the licensing procedure. Yeah. 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 So. That's neat. Yeah. He, I know he's uh, actually talked with some other agents at a few other companies and he's also said, you know, I, I can't believe there's so much training here because I didn't think this was going to be required. I didn't, right. you know, not that it's negative. He's enjoyed it and he's excelled. Uh, but in talking with other agents, not even necessarily just here in Columbus about how little their onboarding process is. So um, again, I think that's very important. So, so what kind of big deals do you have going on? Um, I actually, so I have a listing up in uh, Norfolk right now. I have 40 acres up there for sale. Other than that, just kind of trying to get our name so what's out the there. Price? Um, that one's 340,000. Okay. So for it's 40 it's, acres. You said, yeah, 40 okay. acres. It's just right outside of Woodland park. So we're kind of looking for that guy to, you know, either build on it or it could be turned into separate lots. So it would be good development ground yes, then. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Good deal. We'll have to keep that in mind. We cover Norfolk area as well. Yep. So how did you get that lead Adam? Uh, that was an expired lead. Oh, so, look at yep. you go. Yep. That's amazing. Yep. Absolutely. Very good. Yeah, development has always been my favorite part. So we've done that several times in Columbus, uh, little areas in Norfolk, and now we've got one opening in Omaha too. Yep. So, so I love that piece of it. I love that the agents here, honestly, cover every aspect of it, you know, development, investment, uh, property management, you mm -hmm. know, there's so many different aspects to real estate and, and such great returns as well. Yep. So, um, so any other questions or um, comments you guys have with regard to well, I'll just like uh, expand on that a little bit. I think that's what I love about real estate is that there's no just one thing, you know, you, you, you don't just buy and sell well, real estate. You the one thing is people. real estate, but the one, okay. Yes, that is true. The one thing is real estate, but it's not just buying and selling. And the way I like to look at it is I'm not here just to try and make a quick sale or chase the next deal. I am here to advise my clients. In, I love that. That best. came up in the last podcast we did too with Jessica. And I love that. Yeah, you're exactly right. It yeah. is an advisor role. Yeah. And I told, I tell all the agents that I'm onboarding, like if you're chasing the next deal, you're not going to get the people to come back to you because they're going to realize that you just got them into a house just to make that, that sale and make that money. And that's yeah. not what it's about. If it's just a dollar sign. Yeah. And I told even like the people that um, I showed a house to not yesterday, not with the wind, but the day before I showed them a house and I could just tell that they didn't love it. You know, and I, I've, I've said this to them several times, like if you walk into a house and you can't see yourself living there and like, yes, this is my home. Mm -hmm then it's not. Yep. We, we move on. I might have showed these people 15, 20 homes already, but that's not, I'm not here to hurry up and like hurry up and make a quick sale. Like we're trying to find that perfect home for them. Yeah. And it was actually really nice because we celebrated last night with it, but they, uh, they bought me some steaks and they were amazing. Really? From yeah. where? I say it was Omaha called Sky West. No, it, it was over by Cargill. Cargill. Really? I think it's called oh. by Sky West or something, but they were amazing and That's bacon awesome. wrapped. And he's oh. like, no, I just wanted to give this to you because you, you've done so much for us. You're doing everything you can to find them that, mm -hmm. that perfect home. And I just remind them that you can't force yourself into loving a home. Like if you're looking, if you're truly looking for that forever home, you can't force yourself. Yeah, that's right. You can't. And like we just talked about, yeah, if you're chasing the dollar signs, you, you will not last long. No. This is a relationship business. Yeah. And I think too many people forget that. Yeah. And the same goes for being in lending or in the title business. It, mm -hmm. it really is all about creating those relationships. So yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And so at this point, Shay, 
I know you're looking for some sort of assistant, right? Yes, I am. Yep. And I I want an assistant because, so I have a client appreciation coming up here in April and I'm actually going to be hosting it at the Cork and Barrel. So I've talked to Nicole and she's phenomenal. It's just going to be free food, free, free drinks for all my clients. I've invited them a several, a couple different times. I'm also going to be like doing a free will donation for a local charity. And then I'm also Mm -hmm. going to be giving away free uh, raffles. So I have some sponsors who are going to be sponsoring some of the raffles, but actually instead of just buying random things for the raffle, Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to buy items from my clients. So I have several clients who either sell stuff on the side or they own their own business. So I'm going to take that sponsorship money and put it back into my clients and use that as part of the raffles. So I'm really excited about that. I've reached out to everybody I've sent, and then I'll, I'll be sending everybody a postcard as well. So I have a lot of people. Eve, I hope we get a postcard. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) <laughs> Better write that one down. No, but yeah. And so I'm super, I'm really, really excited. It's on April 25th from 12 to three, but that's kind of why I'm looking for an assistant is because I really want to f- focus on my past clients and um, anybody who has referred me, you know, I really make sure that I'm staying in contact with the referral yep. or the person who refers me, just kind of keeping them up to date. Even if it doesn't go under contract, just making sure that I'm thanking them and right. let them know that I truly appreciate yep. their business. Cause that's the biggest thing. So I really want an assistant who's able to help kind of keep me connected with them in that aspect. Like every two to three months, I want to drop something that just do a quick little pop Mm -hmm. by drop a little, you need a darling. Basically. basically. So I need somebody to help run, but coming up with the ideas. I mean, cause that's a lot of time. I mean, I probably spent two, three days, just one coming up with the things, all of that, you know, it's just stuff that I just like, we just talked about with the, the Easter egg hunt that we're going to have, you know, honestly. So it's funny you bring this up. I, uh, one of my recent hires, we've had two of them which I'm so thankful for, um, both coming from Lincoln, I believe. So one of them will be an event planner, basically oh. full-time along with property management, because yeah. we have some huge projects coming on with regard to that. As you know, you and I've talked about yep. that as well, the syndication, but, uh, yeah, it, it takes a lot of time and the staff don't have time. I don't have no. time. And, and those are things that I love doing mm-hmm. and I don't want to give them up, yeah. you know? So yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cattleman's Mall is another good example. Mm -hmm. Uh, We have several just big events coming up. So as a company, we try to do that. And Mm -hmm. and I've always told uh, anyone I've talked to that the agents do the same. So being involved in the community and all those events is really important. So so April 25th, Cork and Barrel. If you don't get a postcard, apparently you're not invited. (laughs) So, and uh, yeah, Nicole is awesome. So we hope to have her in on the show too. So love, love doing events there. And um, anything else you want to talk about with that event? Or your assistant. We'll keep spreading the word out yeah, there. Yeah, so. kind of, I'm just looking for that right person. I'm not in a hurry. Sounds and like a fun job. They just yeah. go to party all the time. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's what they get to do. Maybe if, paperwork. If, if they want, yeah, paperwork probably eventually as well. And it could potentially lead into a full-time job or if they decide that they want to get their real estate license and still do this part-time, you know, I, they get the education while working with me in addition to growing their own business. So I'm, I'm very flexible, but I also need somebody who is determined, motivated, self-driven because I don't, I don't like to micromanage. I don't like being micromanaged. I want them to be able to take the initiative and Mm -hmm. move forward with things. Like if I, I'll kind of give you an idea and I want them to run with it. I don't have all the details to everything. So that's what I I don't need somebody who wants me to tell them their every single move. Um, I need somebody who's going to be, no, uh -uh, I don't have time for that. And that's why I'm hiring somebody is because I don't want to take care of that stuff. That's yeah. why I, that's what I want to do. So apparently um, Adam didn't want that job. No, he did not. <laughs> no, nope, nope, I don't want him as my assistant. No. Nope. <laughs> awesome. Well, I think you guys make a phenomenal team and I love that you're doing different aspects of it too. And hopefully just living your best life and really enjoying it. That's the main thing I tell everyone yeah. in my world, whether you're an agent, staff member, friend, I mean, just life's too short. So, well, you can probably play off of that, but to enjoy it. I mean, oh, absolutely. Are absolutely. you having fun? My, my mindset from six months ago till today is completely 180 degree difference. I enjoy him in the mornings for the most part now. <laughs> Jeez, maybe I should tell Tyler to go do that. You just drive a side by side like Adam does every day and just have fun, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So, that's right. But it does make a huge difference when you're actually passionate, you have a passion for what you're doing. It makes Good. a huge difference. Good. And I got to say, I, I'm very impressed with his drive and determination because um, I mean, the amount of phone calls he's made, the going out of his way, especially for a newer agent. I mean, he has the drive and the determination. So I'm very impressed with what he's all doing and how far he's come just in a matter of a month, a little over a month Two and months, a half. Yeah. Well, you, cause yeah, cause you had to go through 30 days of training right. and then another week of an actual mm-hmm. listing presentation before yeah. you could even start marketing and that advertising. Kansas City, right? Yeah. 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 So that had to take yeah. determination. Absolutely. Yeah. Really just doing that part of it, yeah. you know, yeah. not even getting business just, just no. Cause he, he had to hold off. He couldn't do any marketing. He couldn't reach out to yeah. pers- or sellers or expires or anything like that until he was done with that. So he's really only been doing this for a month, a little over a month, right. even though he's been licensed for two, two and a half mm-hmm. months. So I'm very, he's been doing an amazing job just 
drilling the phones, you know, writing handwritten notes. And I'm trying to help leverage that aspect of it. Cause it is very time consuming. And I very understand like people like the handwritten notes, but I'm really trying to convince them to go a different route and save them a little bit of time. But yeah, maybe when he has more business see what happens. or, or yeah. just now, it's, yeah, just, just now, now. Just I do mean, it. you just start leveraging your time. It's fine. Just yeah. start using my, my, uh, form or my, uh, account on this particular yeah my services I don't care just just do it because wait a minute you're telling the competition to make our services <laughs> I know, right I all right know. Shay I know I'm I know. shutting you off <laughs> I think it's great like I said I I think the biggest piece of success in this business is doing small consistent steps every day so Adam has yeah. shown that I've seen his name around and I think it's just amazing so yeah. I would agree with I'm gonna go back to oh sorry yeah I'm gonna go back to that um tell the competition you know I've also I've given all this information, even to people who are not part of our team or you like KWLE. You know, yeah. I mean, anybody who comes up to me that has any questions or concerns, I mean, I've, I'll help anybody because again, I'm not recreating the the wheel and I want people to be as motivated and, and as successful as they want to be. That's exactly You can only right. do so much. I can give you all the hints, tips, tricks, all of that stuff. But if you're not going to run with it, then that's on you. And most people aren't, you know, no. you could give them yeah. your whole secret to success. This is mm-hmm. this big secret recipe. It's not a secret not at all. It. No, it's not a secret <laughs> at all. And that's again, drive, such drive. a misconception. I mean, nothing is... Uh, new nothing is is no. something that someone else has not done before you so yeah. and that's what i was just saying just taking action that's yep. the biggest yeah. thing yep taking well and taking the risk because yep. i mean when we got into real estate i was eight and a half months pregnant and we took on this huge financial barrier uh-huh. hurdle i mean it was awful mm-hmm. i was i was having like a panic attack i was sitting at this three-day conference eight and a half months pregnant <laughs> about ready to have our second child and we're taking we're making the biggest financial decision of our entire lives. Yep. Was it absolutely awful? Yes. That first right. year, I would never want to go back to it because it was hard mm-hmm. financially, mentally, emotionally. It was hard, yep. but you have to take those risks in order to get somewhere that you've never been. You right. can't, you have to do something you've never done in order to get somewhere yep. you've never been. That's exactly right. So people look That's at us now like, oh, must be nice. No, you have no idea what we had to go through. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Same with yeah. you. And I know it. you understand it. that. It's one of the things I saw in you first, Shay. And, and I think I've told you this before. I'm a lot older than you, obviously. So, you know, you, you are like me 20 years ago. Ten, well, <laughs> We're like 10 pretty, pretty much 20. How old are you? 24? No. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I, uh, you know, I saw that in you right away. And so many people get analysis paralysis, you know, you learn and learn and learn and learn and learn, which is a great thing. But if yeah. you never take action, yeah. you don't get anywhere. No. So yeah, I admire you guys that you were able to just pull the trigger and mm-hmm. take those risks and whether it's stressful, hard. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I'll look at all those benefits that you're reaping now. So, well, and that's like Adam, even going to getting into real estate. I, we, I said, if you're going to be doing this, do it full time. You're, you're going hundred percent into it. And he had our health insurance. He had, you know, steady income. Yikes. And so going full time, you know, it's hundred percent commission. So nothing's guaranteed. So mm-hmm. We had to take that huge leap of, leap of faith. And again, that's another financial barrier that we had to look into. We had to find, you know, private health insurance and we right. have three kids and right. you bought a house we had yeah. listed and you fixed it up. And instead of flipping that's, it, you stayed there. Yep. And I mean, just, yeah, awesome. You're living yeah. the dream. I mean, yeah. honestly, most yeah. people would be giving away anything to yeah. be in your position. Probably but you have to take that risk. So. You have to, yep. you have to, yep. or you can't, you can't not. Exactly. Yeah, and just not cool. give up. People would say, well, what if it doesn't work for Adam? But that's not even my vocabulary. Right. There is no what if. It's going to work. Yeah. We're gonna not, make that's it work not even somehow, a question. Some way. Because right. you only fail if you never get back up. Yeah. And we will all all fail at some point in time, but we're not going to give up, I guess you could say. That's how you react. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Exactly. It's your reaction. That's yep. exactly right. So very cool. Well, yeah. So I admire this very much, you guys. Anything else you want to add? Any next big projects? Uh, we have a couple renovations that we're um, just finishing up and having under contract, but we do have one syndication that we're obviously talking about mm-hmm. with you. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was like, you do? What? Yeah, I know. I saw your face. Like, no, that's with you. It's fine. <laughs> that's funny. Um, yes. I actually, I do have somebody else who um, is really interested. I don't know if you need any more, but we were talking about doing a business. Partners are hard. Part- so it has to yeah. definitely work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. And I, I didn't think it would with this person, but that multi-unit building had already sold. So, but he's like, no, I'm definitely in this. And I know he's got the finances cool. to be able to help yeah. do that partnership. Right. So let's talk about yeah. it. It'll be good. That one yeah. will be exciting. So, yeah. Yeah. all right, It'll good. Well, thank you guys for coming on. Yeah. So yeah. we'll thank have you, you back much. again. Okay. Thanks for cool. having us. All right. Us. Thanks.